So there are two complementing articles here about America's culture war heating up. Over one article over Whole Foods, uh, I guess the, the labor person at Whole Foods uh, does not want Black Lives Matter face masks to be worn by customer service personnel. And another one here that somebody complained about a Black Lives or oh, uh, F Joe Biden or let's go Brandon sticker on a, on the pilot's luggage while uh, Black Lives Matter or uh, whatever the airline, I think American Airlines ha has its own official sticker for the BLM, um, BLM movement. Uh, and as, what's, like, what's the difference between uh, having a BLM sticker and a Let's Go Brandon sticker? Uh, both are political and both are speech. Um, one is not as popular. I mean, you if you have anything to say about the against the BLM badge or whatever, you're perceived as a racist. So most people, not, nobody's going to defend you. Uh, the majority is on your side. But let's go, Brandon. It's very polarizing. Some people will support it, chuckle. Some people th think that you're just like a secret neo-fascist or whatever, you know. So basically, they the comp the companies are getting themselves into a tight spot because on one hand, either you do a blank ban of all political statements, which I think this that's the way they should go because at the end of the day, you're just trying to make money, right? And you wanna you wanna serve all your customers, even if the customers have whatever political opinions. It shouldn't matter because. You should. It, it's just like the the, the ham-fisted way Starbucks had a uh, wanted to. Their CEO had like this dumb campaign of having a, a racial conversation, a, a conversation about race at Starbucks with a barista. That's like, you know, you can have like difficult conversations, but just because you're doing a transaction, like let's say you're selling somebody a car, or you're buying a house, you, you know, you you. you <laughs> Your worldviews don't need to align. You're, that's the that's the beauty of capitalism. You you create a, you an exchange. Of, um, you have an exchange where both sides benefit, right? Mutual beneficial transaction. So your your politics. What do you? America trades with all sorts of countries, exports and imports from all sorts of countries around the world. Is it politically aligned with every single? Are you politically aligned with a coffee roaster in Guatemala that sold you the coffee beans? Do you need to have a conversation? I mean, it's stupid, right? You can have your own opinion. So they should probably... Uh, the company... I mean, if, if a woke company or whatever wants to have political uh, political signage on uniforms, I mean, it's a double-edged sword, but they're they're going to get into some, some murky situations because if you let the BLM badge, you allow the, some political speech... Well, you need to let let's go Trump or F Joe Biden or whatever. So, but then what? You're going to choose one, not the other. So then you're you're you you're, you're going to get embroiled in a political battle that's completely should have stayed out of. So there, there's a there's completely no reason. Uh, but I I, I I doubt companies are going to be smart enough to get to avoid it. They are going to step right into this uh, political dog doo doo. Um, yeah, so the first article here, plain hypocrisy outrage after American Airlines of de designated official BLM badge for staff to wear, but apologize when li uh, liberal passenger complain about pilots, let's go Brandon sticker. The pilot's identity was not released by the airline is now under investigation. Your sticker is uh, under investigation. The Dallas Fort Worth based airline currently uh, currently offers an official company endorsed Black Lives Matter pin for its staffers. It to think the Black Lives Matter movement is somehow oppressed. You you know you're 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 speaking truth to power. Well, the fucking power has your goddamn badges, okay? You're not speaking truth to power. More like you're the power. It's like who. Think about who you're not allowed to criticize. Well, that's who's in charge. 
Dana Finley Morrison, Missouri-based fraternity and sorority worker, tweeted in a photo, let's go Brandon sticker, a slogan meaning fuck Joe Biden. So if you had a, a sticker, fuck Donald Trump on your on your briefcase, well, I'm sure she wouldn't complain, but some other whatever. So, somebody else would probably complain, try to get him canceled in trouble. It's pretty stupid. And then here we go. There's the opposite, the, the flip mirror here. Whole food la lashes Biden's woke labor relations boss for insisting its workers were entitled to wear a BLM masks to work as lawyer for the supermarket warn imposing imposing rule violates First Amendment rights. So this is actually a more interesting article, a more interesting case that the government is telling that employees can wear uh, political propaganda on their uniform, which is our country, the United States, is so polarized and such down a wrong path that any time in its history you could obviously see that if you work for if you work for somebody in this the, the, that company has uniforms you can clearly I mean it, it, it'd be a no-brainer that like oh yeah well you can't modify your uniform or you can't you can't wear political stuff on you because you're when you're getting paid obviously you're not this is not a free speech thing you're you're getting paid to rep you're representative of the company and the company you're on their time, right? And you're you're not on your time supporting your own whatever political causes. Uh, so, but the government is just insisting that people can wear political stuff at work. But <laughs> but would they stand up for uh, uh, let's go, Brandon face masks? If let's say if. If the company, if a whole bunch of Trump supporters said Trump 20, 2024 on their face masks and um, and the, the, the Whole Foods uh, deemed that illegal or like fired them or whatever and they sued, would the labor uh, of a Biden's labor relations secretary get in on that and say like, no, that's the, that's the First Amendment right? Of course not. So this is all hypocrisy. They're putting their thumbs on the scale. It's all about what politics they like. Uh, it, it, this is this is not going to end well. It's just as stupid as you know, religious things being in courthouses, objects. So then, by law, the the Church of Satan gets to put in their like devil or whatever in the courthouse. Uh, just stop it. Just stop it. So stupid. But if people want to get into this culture where they can, but it just shows that the country's down, definitely down a wrong path. In July 2020, 27 of Whole Food employees took the company to court, arguing that they should be allowed to wear BLM face masks at work. Why? Why are you allowed to wear political uh, symbols at work? Whole Foods said that they supported BLM. Oh, do you really? You racist bastards. But they do have a company-wide ban on any logos or slogans at work. Hmm. Jennifer Abruzzo, the Biden-appointed counsel of the National Labor Board, argued that being able to wear BLM face mask was a right. What about wearing a swastika on your face mask? Is that a right too? Well, no, that's not. Then what's the difference? You're wearing a political thing. Whole Foods have argued that their right is being violated because it's an attempt to make a company speak about an issue. The case will be heard in March. Uh, yeah, this will probably be struck down. I mean, you can't. Do they not understand what like uniforms mean? And not even a uniform. Like if a if you you're at work and you're interacting with customers and you're saying political stuff, well, they can obviously terminate your uh, employment. Just like if you're saying supporting fascism and saying. Uh, Heil Hitler. I mean, obviously, she'd be able to terminate your employment. I mean, this is a no-brainer. How, you know, it's, the country's in a sad, sad place.